Hi guys and welcome to another 10 minute teach with Mr A and in this lesson we're going to be looking at dividing a three digit number by a one digit number. So that is basically splitting this number into this many equal pieces. Okay, so help us out with a little bar model as well once we do that. But we're going to be using bus stop methods to help us do this today. So I've written out some of our little bus stops. And as you can see, four questions to have a go at as well. So let's get straight into it. So how we're setting that up? Well, I need my three columns for my hundreds, tens and units. And I'm going to put the number that I'm dividing by on this side here. So I'm dividing by four. I'm going to put my... 328 inside my bus stop and my answer is going to go up at the top here okay so let's have a little look at this then so i'm splitting this number into this many equal pieces so we have how many fours hmm, can i fit inside a three well i can't actually fit any fours inside a three so what i shall do is put zero in there I'm going to move my 300 to make 320 over here. So how many fours can I fit inside this 320? But actually to make it easy for ourselves, we could make it 32. So how many fours can I fit in 32? Hmm. Well, let's have a look. If I was struggling with this, I could use some of my skip counting songs. So let's have a look. Now let's all join together counting fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So I can actually fit eight in there. Fantastic. So I can fit four eights or 32. All those three numbers work together. So let's have a look at this one then. So how many fours can I fit inside an eight? And the answer is two. And I've got nothing left over there at all. So let's have a look at what that actually looks like in a bar model so let's see let's draw a very simple one just here for everybody at home nice and easy so i'm splitting it into four equal pieces i have 328 that i'm dividing into our four equal pieces and i have 82 in each one of those so actually, it's really easy to see that if you multiplied these back by four, you would end up with 328. All right, let's have a little go at this one then as well. So let's set it up like we did before. So we'll put our six over here, and then we've got 648, which we're splitting this time into six equal pieces. So let's have a look. How many sixes can I fit inside a six? Well, one six is six, so I can fit that in there. Okay, how many sixes can I fit inside a four? Well, actually, I can't do that. So I'm going to scrub out my four and give my four tens to my unit. So now, how many sixes in 48? Well, hmm, let's have a little think. So six eights are four. 48, fantastic. So actually I can fit eight in there and I've got nothing left over. So 108, so the answer to 648 divided by six or 648 split into six equal pieces gives us 108. And this is what it would look like in the bar model as well. So let's have a little go at drawing this one. So smaller pieces this time, there we are, that's perfect. So 648, and we've got 108, 108 times by six actually. So just like in the last example, if you multiplied 108 by six, you would end up with 648. So all those numbers actually work together. You can use those to work out one and the other. Right, let's have a little look then. So let's have a look at C. So this time, oh, I'm thinking already, I know a bit about the five times table here. And for five to divide into any number equally, it would have to end 
in zero or five, and this one doesn't. So we might actually have a little something left over. So let's set it up like we did before, just to get ourselves ready for this one. So I'm dividing by five, and I'm going to try and split 921 into five equal pieces. So 921. Okay, so this time let's go again. So how many fives can I fit inside nine? Well, I can fit one, but I've got four left over. So one five fits in, but I've got four left. So that's what I carry over this time. So how many fives now then can I fit in 42 or 420? So five into 42 is eight, fives are 40, and then I've got two left over. So I carry that two over. So how many fives can I fit in 21? Well, five, 10, 15, 20. One more five is too high at 25, so let's pull it back one. So it's four I can fit and I have something left over. I've got one left over, haven't I? So we put that as a remainder one. So splitting 921 into five equal pieces, you can't do because you have 184 with one left over. And I always like to think of it in terms of I had myself and four other friends to make five people, 921 sweets we've counted out. We would each have 184, but we'd have one left over, perhaps for the dog. No, who knows? Let's have a little look at this one then. So we've got 693 divided by seven. Hmm. So I'm already thinking perhaps this one might be a little bit like this one. Let's find out. So 693, I'm dividing by seven. 693 in there. Right, here we go then. So how many sevens can I fit in a six? Well, I can't fit any. So I'm gonna to have to move that over and move my six over here. So six, 690, ooh, dividing in by seven. Well, let's make it 69. Well, nine sevens are 63, 10 sevens are 70. So we have to come back to 63. So it's nine and 63 and 69 take 63, leaves us with six. Oh, this one's interesting. So let's have a look. So seven, into 63, we've already done this one. So actually you can fit nine in there and there's nothing left over. So let's have a look. So if we split 693 into seven equal pieces, just like we've done up here, but with seven equal pieces, you would get 99. 693 sweets divided by seven people, you would each get 99 sweets. Fantastic, I really hope that that's helped everybody out today and just helps you with a little bit of visualization of what's actually going on there as well. If you have any recommendations for videos you'd like me to do in the future, please let me know. Let me know how you've got on with these ones. Perhaps you could set yourself some divisions and post them down in the comments below to let me know what calculations you've been working out. Until next time, guys, class dismissed.